Hello friends, in the previous one we have got to know that is uh, how the aqueous solution of KCl solution is basically neutral in nature and now uh, similar to that uh, concept we are going to uh, make sure that uh, the aqueous solution of the sodium bicarbonate is basic in nature. How? Let us stop it. So talking about the sodium bicarbonate, uh, so sodium bicarbonate is the one that is basically uh, we could write it as in this form that is Na2CO3. But this is a salt uh, that has been derived uh, because of the help of the strong base like NaOH and uh, a weak acid like carbonic acid. So in this case we could say uh, that is uh, the Na2CO3 has been produced uh, with the reaction of the both two and that's the reason that uh, this salt is basically uh, the one which has been produced it is basically a strong letter and that's the reason that it will dissociate into that is uh, Na plus but since the sodium is of two moles so therefore two moles of Na plus along with that of that is CO3 2 minus. So these are the ions that will be produced on uh, the ionization uh, or we could call it as a dissociation. So in that case because uh, the Na2CO3 that will be uh, forming an aqueous solution so that's the reason that we have to dissolve it in water and uh, talking about the pure water. Pure water is the one uh, which will not dissociate completely into H plus ion or uh, uh, OH minus ion and that's the reason that pure water is called to be a weak electrolyte. And, uh, Talking about this one, that is we have to make an aqueous solution of sodium bicarbonate and that's the reason that uh, we are going to dissolve the sodium bicarbonate uh, in that of uh, water. So therefore I could say that the sodium bicarbonate that is Na2CO3, suppose it has been dissolved in water, that is for that uh, two moles of water has been needed. So as to form basically that is two moles of NaOH along with uh, that of uh, uh, that is uh, the acid. So but weak acid. This is a strong acid that we have but in that case we will get a weak acid like uh, I would name it as like H2CO3. So this is what we have got and uh, but we know that uh, Na2CO3 is basically a strong later ion so therefore it will dissociate completely and uh, talking about NaOH even that is a strong later ion or we could call it as a, that is a strong base and that is the reason that even that would be dissociated completely so therefore we could uh, arrange this kind of equation or uh, this kind of chemical reaction that we have right now uh, in this form where we could get that is 2 moles of Na plus along with that of CO3 2 minus and uh, in this case basically suppose 2 moles of H2 has been involved over here so therefore I would write it over here as 2 moles of H2 as it is and in this case basically this NaOH even that will be dissociated into basically 2 moles of Na plus along with that of 2 moles of OH minus and in this case even uh, actually this is the one which is basically uh, weak uh, acid so therefore I would I would uh, write it over here as that is H2CO3. So in this case basically uh, even that could be uh, dissociated in the form of uh, I would say uh, over here as H2 uh, two moles of H plus along with that of CO3 2 minus but that is a weak uh, acid so therefore the dissociation will not be till that much extent. So in this case suppose if we uh, observe that the thing that could be cancelled out is basically this Na plus and this Na plus because the equilibrium is maintained over here and uh, we could see uh, that the only thing that has been left out is basically CO3 2 minus along with that of that is 2 moles of uh, H2O and with the help of this reaction you could get that is 2 moles of OH minus along with that of that is H2CO3. So basically in this reaction basically a weak uh, acid has been formed but meanwhile if I am talking about this one that is 2 moles of OH minus is also been formed so that's the reason that the H plus ion of the water molecule is been utilized uh, so as to form so as to react with CO3 2 minus so as to form H2 CO3 or the carbonic acid and that's the reason that uh, the only thing that has been left out uh, with more concentration compared to that of the H plus ion and that is basically OH minus ion. So since the concentration of the OH minus ion it will, will be more than that of uh, the concentration of H plus ion so therefore I could say that concentration of OH minus ion will be greater than that of the H plus ion that has been present in the solution so therefore I could say that the pH value will be more than 7 and if the pH value is more than 7 I could clearly say that that would be basic solution. So that's it and obviously because it is a basic solution it will have an effect on the litmus paper and that's the reason that um, we could see that the red litmus paper will be converted into uh, that is uh, blue litmus paper and that's the reason uh, this makes the sodium carbonate solution to be basic in nature. 
So with the help of that concept, also our hydrolysis concept, we have got to know this thing. So thank you for also watching this video. I hope you have liked this video and you have understood this video very clearly and you have understood the concept also. So share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Be Thank you so much.